Hello everyone, welcome to the Seattle Light of Love. I'm Danielle. I'm Krista. I'm <laughs> Alex, sorry. <laughs> and we are continuing Coffee March Madness. Yay! Um, today we are at Cherry Street Coffee here in Pioneer Square. Um, New and expanded. Right, they used to be right across the street, over there, down in the basement. Now they're over here. The one across the street was their original location. And it was teeny tiny. I don't even know. Did they have seating? Like, yeah, they there was like seating. There, was like, there were like little nooks in the back. They had like go down a hallway. And, oh, I think I yeah. only ordered from the counter there, so I didn't really ever spend much time there. Okay. Right. And they're going to be up against today Ballard Coffee Works. Yes. So we're going from Pioneer Square to Ballard to continue the first round of bracket. Are y'all ready? Ready. Yeah. All right. All right, so today I have in the middle a whole milk latte. Uh, they don't have the hemp milk. No, they don't, no so, hemp milk. So, so I went for oat milk as well today. Oat milk here, and Krista as oh, well. Here, present, accounted for. I was just taking pictures for Instagram. And well, on Instagram. you also got oat milk? I did. So after, I mean, I was always drinking almond milk in my quest to be dairy minimalist and um, when we went to Vivace as you re may remember if you haven't go back and watch that vlog they had oat milk and so I tried it for the first time and I really liked it so it'll be interesting to compare and see if this one tastes any different all right Alex you just uh, took your first sip yeah um, it's pretty it's pretty delicious um, I have been doing hip milk for everything that we've done so far so it's mm -hmm. different I, I like the oat milk it's a little it's like kind of roasty nutty flavored it's pretty, it's pretty delicious. Okay. Right. Krista? Well, the first sip was like the, the bitterness of the coffee was like, woo. Um, I think that's just because that's how espresso is. Normally at work I drink drip coffee with coconut milk in it. So espresso is just packs a little bit more of a punch and mm -hmm. I'm not always used to it. Um, the more I'm drinking it, the more I'm enjoying it. It's, it's like a very warm flavor and I mean the temperature obviously. <laughs> the oat milk is like a nice warm complement to the bitterness of the coffee. Nice. Alright, so here it goes. I really love Cherry Street Coffee. Um, it's one of my most favorite places. Like Vivace and Cherry Street for me are like the best coffee shops in Seattle in my own personal opinion. Um, though, had a lot of good coffee so far in this bracket. Um, this tastes like a whole milk latte. The espresso's there, I can taste the dairy, which is good. Um, it's definitely well balanced. Uh, we've, we've all tried each other's coffee. Um, well, Alex and I both got the same thing, so we didn't have to swap yeah. germs. Just they both them. tried my coffee and by... We've all swapped germs. We've tried the whole milk coffee, so... And um, I tried... It's, it's fine. It's fine, but it's not. It's not my favorite. Okay. What do you think of the uh, whole milk latte? It was good. I had a sip of it. You could definitely taste the dairy. I mean, it's such a it's such a contrast from what I'm drinking because you can really see how much the dairy is different. What I will say is that I'm loving the ambiance in here. I mean, for one thing, we have the whole place to ourselves. Um, but it has this really nice combination of like the old exposed brick, so it feels really old, and we're in Pioneer Square, which is really old, but like it's been redone, and so 
it has this nice, clean, fresh, remodeled feeling about it too. Mm -hmm. um, so I can just see like coming in, hanging out here and playing a game or reading a book or something. There's not a lot of like cushy chairs in this area. It's just a lot of like tables, but um, there are, there's a lot of seating for a coffee shop. There so. are a couple cushy chairs, like where Over there? that gentleman okay. is up there. But uh, they're, 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 you gotta kind of gotta hop on them. Yeah. What do you think thus far? See that you're almost done with yours. Yeah. Um, so the the cafe is is really good. Um, I would say it's definitely it's strong. It's some of the cafes we've had are kind of bitter, and I'm not sure like intentionally so. Whereas this one is strong, but I would call it maybe espresso forward. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm mixing my snap. Here, I'm not even sorry. <laughs> um, but uh, it's, it's definitely it's definitely good. I've tried the whole milk latte, and I think I even like the oat milk a little better than the milk latte. It's just nutty and delicious. I'm just jamming. You know, feeling the vibes. Espresso forward is a good word. It's not bitter. It's not overly bitter, but it is very strong coffee, um, which I like. Like, uh, I feel like fuel is very strong coffee, but it's also extremely bitter. Um, this is not as bitter, which tells me that the espresso is better. Um, it is espresso forward. So, uh, with that being said, I'm gonna finish my latte. <laughs> All right, we've made it to Ballard. And we are at the Ballard Coffee Works. Us and a lot of other people. Yeah, there's a, there's a. White people. <laughs> Opposite situation. Opposite Cherry. situation from yeah. Cherry Street. Yeah. Yeah. So well, the difference between Ballard and Pioneer Square on a Saturday. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, oh, my screen's going all tilty. Oh no! Uh, so anyway, we're gonna go in, get our lattes, and uh, then make a decision. We've ordered our drinks. The middle one is mine. That is a whole milk latte, as is my standard. What did you get, Alex? I got another oat milk latte because they did they do not have hemp here. This is a double hemp denied day. Mm. I feel like maybe the grip of the hemp pod people, but they have on my mind is loosening. Oh no. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, same here. So, um, in order to comp compare apples to apples, I mm. also got a oat milk latte. Um, I, I briefly considered an almond milk latte, but figured that I should probably try to compare apples to apples. So, it'll be interesting to see um, how this one is. All right. Let me move this over to you. Move this over to me. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> so I've, I've noticed that the art on the dairy milk lattes tends to be better than the art on the... Agreed. The better froth. Noticed, yeah, exactly. It must be something to the consistency. Oh, oh man. <sighs> yeah. It's pretty good. Quality. What I'm getting so far is that I think this is slightly more bitter than what we had at Cherry Street. Okay. That is a face of contemplation. Maybe I don't know. I don't think I am getting more bitter. I think I think the um, the one at Cherry Street had the punch of the espresso flavor more than this. This seems more balanced to me. So I think I like it better. Okay. All right, here it goes. Wow, that's a face. <laughs> it's not as strong. It's not as espresso forward. Um, I 
don't think it's more bitter, but it kind of tastes older. Mm -hmm. Like the beans are not as fresh, is what I'm getting. Uh, the um, the froth is tasty though. The froth is tasty. I'm interested to try y'all's oat milk one. Mm -hmm. Do you want to try one of mine now? Yeah. Or a sip, or a sip of mine, I should say. I'm just gonna drink it all. <laughs> I would not put it past you. The oatiness is more forward in this one than at Cherry Street. Mm -hmm. Um. But the espresso itself, the coffee. I mean, maybe it's just a more like roasty flavor and less fruity. I don't know. It's. I'm gonna have to think about it. Yeah. I'm gonna think about it. All right. All right. What do you think about the ambience? Well, uh, so it's a little difficult to say um, because everything was full. All the seats were full. It's yeah. really crowded in here. Um, so we're like, we're in the Dungeons and Dragons room, basically. <laughs> like the re reservable back room, and it's echoey, and the chairs are uncomfortable. Um, These are the same chairs that they have out in the main restaurant, though. That's too. true. Those are probably Good also night. uncomfortable. Um, I don't know, the, we did not get particularly helpful service at the counter. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so just... Um, we're not out there, but just sitting in here, I'm just like, this is not, this is not the company. It's not the place that you'd come and just get a spot to sit easily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On a Saturday afternoon. Yeah. Krista. Um, this room is echoey and I don't like it. I feel like I'm in a fishbowl. But I did, as like walking through the rest of the main area, I do like the ambiance. It has a like, soft light and um, just kind of a nice coffee shop feel, but the chairs do look uncomfortable. It's really loud out there, though. They too. have a lot of patio seating, too, so as the summer gets nicer, um, it's nice to sit outside. But even right now, with the weather kind of chilly, it was um, very full. I mean, it's a great spot because it's right on Market Street. And so, you know, if you are sitting outside, there's a lot of great people watching. There's a lot of hustle and bustle because it's in such a main intersection of Ballard. So I can understand why it's pretty cool and popular. So I feel like, I feel like there's some opinions developing in this room mm -hmm. about this place. And uh, having, having some time to work on my coffee a little more, I would agree it's not necessarily bitterness. I have tasted in this cabin, but there's just something about it that I don't, that I just don't like, I don't know, the flavor. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's oxidization, um, perhaps. Um, I noticed, so a couple of things I noticed about that, about that industry here. One, at the front counter, they have a little, like, digital photo frame that, uh, that like, shows their accomplishments from last year, which is just so pretentious, I can't deal with it. My like first reaction was like, oh, I think this is better, because it didn't have <clears> that, like, espresso punch that I got from Cherry Street, but I've changed my mind. It's not better. Um, it tastes old. I don't know. And I was eating, like, a, I was having a snack along with it, and so I'd, like, have a little bite of that and then taste the coffee, and it was, like, I was getting, it, it's, it's, like, it's kind of stale. Um, I, mean, I don't want to be mean, like, I'm sure, maybe, maybe what I was eating was just a bad combination, like, I don't know, but it kind of tasted like it had been in the refrigerator. Okay. Uh, so, we just finished, um, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm waffling, because I like coffee that's not super, like, bitter and punchy, I like it, like, a more smooth flavor, but there was also just something a little off. Yeah, I... I know a lot of people like this place, and I don't want to trash it. I, I'm ready to vote. <laughs> <laughs> I, w I have one thing to say, which is I just put it together that this is Seattle Coffee Works, which is the same as the place down um, on Pike near the market. Yep. I don't know if they have any other locations. But... No, I don't think so. Yeah. All right, so um, would y'all like to vote? I'm ready. Sure. Uh, Alex? Cherry Street. Yeah. That was pretty definitive. Uh, the coffee was better. Their their space was better. Uh, they had well, to be fair, there wasn't that many people there, but they also had fewer hipsters. <laughs> <laughs> they do get really busy during the week. I believe that. Yeah. yeah. Um, Krista. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I think just in general, I think Cherry Street's coffee is a, a little bit strong for me. Um, but this one was just a little, little off. Um, and not, not quite sure how to describe it. Um, and uh, I think just overall the experience at Cherry Street was better. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna vote for that. I will as well vote for Cherry Street. I like their coffee better. It's very espresso forward, as we said. Uh, I can taste the coffee in it. The coffee, this coffee just kind of tasted stale and lackluster. The espresso did, uh, which is unfortunate. I know that a lot of people love Ballard Coffee Works. I have coworkers that rave about it, that live over here, and are gonna be kind of upset with me when this vlog goes live. So, you know, but... <sighs> Uh, but uh, I know that I can't judge it on ambiance that much because during the week, Cherry Street, the one we were at, is super busy. It's hard to get a seat there. But um, even if it was busy, I think it has great ambiance. Yeah, and the chairs are just... Cherry Street wins! Yeah! <laughs> they move Bottom on. To, line. Yeah, they move on to the next round uh, to see whom they will be facing off with in the second round of the bracket. Uh, watch our next vlog which will be the um, Empire Copy in Columbia City in Columbia City versus El Diablo, Upper Queen Anne. So until next time, this has been the Seattleite of Love. Signing out. Thank you for enjoying this video. Please feel free to join us on one of our many other adventures.